Sorry if I'm way less friendly. I got niggas trying to end me. Oh, yeah. I spilled all my emotions tonight. I'm sorry. Rolling, 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 rolling. How many more shots in the euro? We just need a place to play. and this is a lace front wig um, the hair type is Chinese virgin hair and this is a medium cap with 160% density and it is 18 inches long so you guys saw how long it was like before I curled it um, yeah so I'm just gonna get into how I feel about this wig yeah so um, when I looked at the color and how it looked in the pack I was not happy with the color I was kind of intimidated as well so this is what it looks like it has streaks of blonde in there and then this and then it has like a very like medium brown color throughout so I was a little bit intimidated I was gonna try to go in and do um, my own route but I decided not to and I just decided to put some wand curls in it put powder in it I put my pressed powder in the part in space so this color on me it definitely transforms kind of like my whole look I feel like I look like a completely different person with this blonde hair this is 160% density for me I feel like it's on the thin side um, I wish it was a little bit more full just a little bit more full so I can get some volume like towards the bottom and I guess I could do that if I like brush the curls out a little bit more it'll get more fluffy I do kind of feel like I wish it was a, a little bit more um, had a little bit more density to it I have a few strands of shedding but um, no tangling I have um, I can just glide my hands right through it. Um, this texture is Chinese virgin hair. So it does, so it's like a more silky texture to it. Noticed lately with my reviews is that my head is big. So I should not be getting medium caps anymore. I need to be getting um, large caps or the largest cap that they, that companies send because um, this is a lace front wig so I didn't have to do all of that stuff that I usually do with like frontal wigs. I don't even have the sides like down. Like <laughs> I don't have the sides down at all so you can see like my natural edges if I didn't wear it like this. So this cap is too small for my big head but that's my fault. It's not the company's fault. I kind of like this wig. I do think the blonde is fun. I don't necessarily like how like yellow the blonde is if I decide to keep this like long term 
I'm probably gonna make it more of an ash blonde and not so like yellow. So I think that might be a good move for this wig. Overall, it's a lot cuter than I was initially giving it credit. And I'm glad that I put some curls in it. It was asking me, um, did I know of a human hair version of Free Trust Valentino? And I think this would be a good um, human hair version of Free Trust Valentino because it's about that same length. And if you do it as a middle part and then you do um, some wand curl or barrel curls with this wig, it can mimic uh, Free Trust Valentino. This one would last a lot more than Free Trust Valentino because this is human hair. So if you are looking for a human hair version of that, this would be a good option for you. And plus you could change the color if you wanted to. You could dye this a darker color if the blonde is too much for you. So if you are interested in this wig that I got from Wild Ebony, I'll put a link in the description box for you guys to where you can go on their website and purchase it. And if I have any coupon codes or anything like that, I'll put those down below as well. I want to thank Wild Ebony for sending me this wig to review for you guys. And I want to thank you guys for stopping by my channel and watching my video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think about the blonde. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.